Welcome to Watercolors with Jaylene, and thank you for joining me today. So today's project is going to be something a little different than what I usually do. Uh, I was talking to my sister this morning, and as I was talking to her on the telephone, I was also sitting there and doing some painting, and I said, oh shoot, you know, I didn't have quite the right color um, that I wanted, so I was going to have to mix something up. So then the conversation came up and I was telling her, you know, with three basic colors, your yellow, red, and blue, you can really kind of come up with just about any color you want. So it's all pretty basic stuff, but I thought for today, I would just kind of do a quick little um, video on just how different you can make colors with the three basic um the three basic colors of course we all have you know tons of tubes of different colors of paint that do make life much easier for us but sometimes you do have that special color that you want that you just can't get out of a tube so i thought i would go over some of the basics and and have fun with it and it's something that i really encourage everyone to sit down and, and give it a try and uh, you'll be really surprised at how fun and creative it can get. So before I get started on this, I would like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And um, if you enjoy the video, then go ahead and hit that like button and, uh, and also the little bell, and that way you'll be notified when I have a new video out. I do try to put out two videos a week. Um, to two videos a week and sometimes I do more but um, so anyway on that note let's get started so I'm going to well my my materials list is pretty basic I just have a piece of watercolor paper um, a little plate with my three colors a yellow a red and a blue a couple um, containers of water because this does get pretty muddy and then a couple of um, paper towels so I'm going to just start by at the top of each of these. I'm going to put in the three main colors that we'll be working with. The yellow, the red, and the blue. And I know we've all probably learned the basics of this at some point in one of our art classes, but it is nice once in a while to take a step back and um, a step back to the basics and just have fun with it. So I'm going to start with my yellows and reds and we'll start kind of mixing these up just to see what we get. Um, it'll be oranges, of course. And some really rich shades and I'm going to be cleaning my brush um, from time to time in between but let me just mix in a little bit more orange and you can see you know the more yellow that I mix in the brighter of an orange it becomes let's try and wet this I had put the paints on here a little while ago before I actually got started with this video. Okay, so that's with just using um, mainly some yellows with a little bit of the red. So now we'll grab some more red and get some deeper shades going here. Okay. So that kind of gives you an idea, you know, of the oranges and almost like a light, um, almost like a light Tuscany brown kind of color. So now I'm going to take the red and the blue and we'll work on a little bit of this. And of course, this is going to uh, come out with a purplish color. Oh, 
Well, that was more of a bluish color, but see, that's that's what I mean. You just got to kind of play around with it. And when you are trying to come up with a certain color, always have a scrap piece of uh, watercolor paper, you know, so that you can, can kind of custom mix and match and figure out the exact tones and shades that you want before you start painting it on your piece. Look at some of these rich, fun colors that that we're creating. And it's so easy, it's fun. Um, grab a paintbrush and paint along with me. But look at some of those deep berry colors. And let me just grab some more blue here and see what we can come up with. It's kind of like a nice bluish gray. And then let's get just a little bit more into the purple tones. All right, and now I, what I want to do is just grab some of the blue down here. Now the blue that I'm using is a, it's a called turquoise actually. So it is a rather bright blue, but you can always tone that down. Now mixing the blue with the yellow, look at that beautiful green. And in some of my other videos, uh, you'll hear me talk about the what I call my Grinch green, which is a color that I use all the time. And basically it's just the yellow and the blue mixed together. And then I just keep mixing it until I get to that real limey, Grinchy green which is about where I'm at right there. So let me grab just some more yellow. And then if we want to kind of go the other way, you know, and start adding in a little bit more blue, let me clean my brush off here. So if we add in just a little bit more blue, it's going to start going towards the real beautiful, um, like aqua shades. The, well, I live on the Gulf Coast of Florida, so I kind of associate these colors with like a beach theme or a coastal feel. And I do a lot of um, sand dollars and, and that type of thing. So you can see those real rich colors that we're creating with just the blue and the yellow together. And then we, so if we go back to kind of our purplish tones here, you know, and grab a little bit of the yellow with that, we can come up with some real interesting earthy tones, um, like a brownish color. And these work great when you're working on landscape scenes. And uh, you can create some real, real, um, some real pretty colors. And look at all of the different options and, and shades that I've created just in a couple of minutes with the three basic colors. So, you know, I kind of wanted to just put this out there and bring everybody kind of reel you back, I guess is a good way to say it. And it is nice to have all of the different colors of paints in the tubes. However, you know, when you are looking for that special color, um, you can always do some quick little color swatches and, you know, just sit and play with the, those three colors, see what you come up with. Um, and as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and do that. It helps my channel grow. And um, also, if you like this video and you want to see more of my designs and creations, go ahead and hit the like button. And also, take a minute and share my video with some of your friends and families. That helps me grow as well. And um, so this is pretty much it for today, or for this video anyway, to give you an idea of, of some of the different colors that you can create and have fun with it. And that, so until next time, ciao for now.